How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Chris Keen, and this is my Z story. I'm a third generation Z owner, and the love for the Z started all the way back in the early 1980s when my grandfather bought a 1974 Datsun 260Z 2 Plus 2. Not too long later, my dad joined the Z love affair. He bought a 1982 Datsun 280ZX in black and gold. While owning his Z, he met and married my mom. They would end up having my brother and unfortunately had to sell the Z for a family car. A few short years later, my dad was back in the Z game. He bought a 1987 Nissan 300ZX in black. My dad would drive the Z31 for a few more years until it was time for a new one. In 1993, he bought a 1992 Nissan 300ZX in pearl white with a tan interior. It was the first car I ever remembered in my life and the first car I remember driving in. My brother and I both got hooked and fell in love with the Z car. Unfortunately, the time soon came when my dad had to sell it again for another family car. About eight years later, we were back in the Z game when my brother decided to buy a 1990 300ZX. A few short years later, he would turn it into a twin turbo. In September of 2006, my family decided to buy me my first car. We all decided on a 1987 Nissan 300ZX 5-speed in Champagne Beige. Two weeks later, I got my learner's permit, and my dad took me to the local high school to learn how to drive my Z and the manual transmission. I immediately fell in love with driving my Z. Within an hour of getting behind the wheel for the first time, my dad already had me on the road. I drove my Z all the time, sometimes having places to go, and other times just driving around for the fun of it. I loved taking the T-tops off and cruising down the open road. I would daily drive my Z through the last few years of my high school career and my first three years of college, and then disaster struck. We dropped my Z off at a local mechanic to have some work done, and then we got the call. They had started the motor without any oil and blew my motor. I wouldn't accept defeat, so I went and bought a new motor and took it to a different shop to have it put in. The Z then came back to me in a few months and was running perfect. I would daily drive my Z every day to school and then to work once I got my full-time career. And then one day, I was on Craigslist and found my new Z. In May of 2014, I bought my white 1990 Nissan 300ZX 5-speed, non-turbo. I immediately fell in love with the car. I split time driving to work in both Zs. In the beginning of 2015, disaster struck for me again. The Z32 developed rod knock and the motor needed to be replaced. Again, I wasn't going to accept defeat, so I bought another Z32 motor. A twin turbo motor. The swap began and it finally was done in October of 2015. It ran amazing and the turbo power was perfect. However, the car developed a water leak in the passenger side floorboard, killing my computer. The T-top drain tube was shot and was leaking right over the computer. But my Z31 was still running strong. After tearing my Z apart, I finally found the leak from the T-top drain, and I finally got it fixed. I swapped the computer out, but that still didn't make the Z32 run right. I finally accepted defeat of it and finally found someone to work on it that I trusted. Z1 Motorsports. I decided I wanted more power, so I upgraded the turbos to the GTX 2867Rs Gen 2 and the injectors to 740s. I even put other goodies on it as well. Any day now, I'm waiting for the call from Z1 to go pick up my Z and bring it home. In the meantime, the Z31 is still growing strong. I can't wait to get my Z32 back so I can get it all finished. I'm going to be redoing the interior of the Z32 and then getting it painted by the end of 2019. The Z31 will be ready for its project when I save up the money for 2020. 
Also, my dad got back in the Z game as he went out and bought a 1982 Datsun 280ZX in red. Hopefully, I'll be getting the Z back soon enough where I'll be able to get it on the track by midsummer. I can't wait to get some driving videos for you guys. Please like and subscribe.